Now let's look at an example I've got on this board here. Example. What size EMT is required for 20 number 12 THA tins? Let's use table 4 and table 5 to figure this out. Refer to table 5 and find number 12 THA tin. When you find THA tin, it's also THWN, THWN-2 uh, in the same category. Go ahead and highlight that so you can pull it visually off the page. And now let's find number 12 and see what our number is for number 12. What's the number for number 12 in what we highlighted, the inches squared? Yeah. And all you got to do is put that in your calculator and multiply it times 20. What would you come up with? 0.266. Now, let's look at table 4 and look for EMT because that's the question. It's asking what size EMT is required for that. And now you go to table 4, look at EMT, and... Over two wires at 40%, the answer is, already answered, one inch. Because one inch has 0.346, we need 0.266, but three quarter does not have enough, right? Three quarter, what's three quarters size? 213. Yeah, it's not enough. Or we could have just looked at, we could have just looked at Annex C and got the same answer, right? Because they're all the same size. So on test day, if they're all the same size, quick answer, look at, and XC. In essence, what we're doing here is we're taking table five information, the, the size of the conductors and however many we got, figuring out how much space is required, and fitting it into a table four raceway at 40% fill.